Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new here. Uh, so, we got some. Uh, alright, alright. I make a video. It's like 12 o'clock. It ain't time to eat yet. But, anyways, first thing I'm gonna do quick update on the farm I guess um, so to start off with a couple babies yesterday this is the last the last dough all right already Ugh. children um, last dough that was bread, so, um, oh, brother, <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're, we're done, we are done kidding, um, within the next couple of days, I need to set up to bre start breeding again, uh, and I'll go back, we're gonna go back to the back shed now, and talk about that, um, so those are the last ones. This this group is I'm gonna send this whole group to uh, auction here in a week. End of the month is the auction or the sale, the, sh the sheep and goat sale. Um, we're gonna I think I'm gonna throw a couple of these on. There's two there that I think I'm gonna throw on right away. Um, and then I need to do some uh, sorting, rearranging get the bigger ones in here I think are gonna go in here and then I need to start creep feeding the little the newer little ones like this one here um, get her going on the right track so I'm gonna head to the back um, continue with this quick update well it's been probably a week now since we finished planting um, goats are loving the nice weather here they're out and about so I'm gonna run I'll run back here quick um, goats are on pasture the goats are on pasture the cows are on pasture they are just eating they're eating everything in that pasture so I got a little bit of baleage left about barley and peas um, sometime I got to take another bale out but I mean, they got that pasture pretty well chewed off. And um, the pasture behind the steer yard here is, uh, well, this yard's empty yet. I don't know what the plan is here, but there's a pasture behind here that I claimed uh, for the cows, cows and the goats. And I actually uh, no-tilled some seed in there, some grass seed. Now we got to start setting up uh, breeding pens. We got to start um, getting the breeding done here. Um, that'll get set up. We're going to set up the side pen here um, sooner than later here. Um, but I think, like right away, I need to hook on this baler. We're going to pull this baler out. It needs to get cleaned out probably hose it off um, we got to dig it out it's got corn stalks in it yet I'm really behind on that but we're getting there um, dig it out I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet if I just dig it out or what clean it out good we got to blow it out good um, if, if you're a, I don't know if I've said anything in the past videos but I, I had a couple nodder issues with this baler um, I think part of the issue is uh, dirt and dust in string tension area so the strings run through gears which are they run through gear through two gears between two gears um, and then they kind of they run through like a tension arm, which is a spring-loaded arm that pull that keeps tension on it, so it doesn't go loose. Um, these knotters, you need the correct 
tension on there in order to make a knot. So um, somewhere we're getting dust, dust and dirt is getting in the way. The reason I know that, the mechanic came out. Um, I was having, having these issues with the knotters and it's real sudden. All of a sudden stuff starts happening. Mechanic came out. He went through with the air hose. He blew out all those areas. I have not figured out what area is the problem. Um, but he blew it out. We bailed. I bailed a whole bunch of bales. All of a sudden, started having issues again. Um, I quit for the night. Next morning, we blew it out again real good. I went out, bailed perfectly. Um, issue here and there. Started having a couple issues. I thought, oh, I'm going to blow it out again. Blew it out, and uh, now it, does, it didn't work. I couldn't get it to work. I blew it out again. We tried it again. Um, I got to figure out got to figure out where that issue is um, where the dirt and the dust is getting in the way causing um, it's probably pulling too a little bit too hard and then it's messing up the cycle so um, that tractor needs oil changed so I think what I'm gonna do hook that tractor on this baler since this is the pair that I'll be using. Um, guys are gonna start cutting hay here, at least I assume. I've heard of at least one one farm that's doing hay, I think today already. So um, hook on the baler, make sure we're ready to go. I also have um, poly bands to put on. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. I think I kinda wanna do that and get it done. I think it'll, it'll go on real easy. So I may be doing that. Um, Got to get the acid tank, the acid uh, hay preservative tank going. Clean it out, blow it out, yada, yada, yada. Get it completely ready to go. And then uh, we'll be ready to start doing some hay here. Um, so that, I got to pull the hay mower up. Um, we just got a lot of other stuff going on. So anyways, um, I'm going to take you guys in the shed now. So, um, I've talked about plans for this as well. This, um, I call this, I don't even know what you call it. Um, but we've been cleaning in here the last couple days. We had over two inches of rain here the last couple days. Um, this is all full of bags, soybean bags. We took them out, we burned them yesterday. I, I got a roll that up find a home for it um but this this place looks beautiful in here kind of sort of we got i got a mess there yet um but cleaned up this area um i pulled the four wheeler out I couldn't get the four wheeler to start i have an articat prowler um i ended up taking that into a small or a motorsports place um, it, it might take a while for them to get to it, but um, I don't have, that's not on my agenda to do, so I, I just would rather have them deal with it. Um, so we're starting to move stuff around. I took the shelves down there. We put them back there. I'm starting to move parts and stuff up there. The goal is that this room comes down. Uh, this summer yet um, my plan is take the room down the stairs are going along that wall uh, we're gonna take all the insulation and uh, plywood I think I'm gonna slap it up on the ceiling Let's do what I can do um, I want to put a big door in that end so I can get get my stuff in we're gonna make it I think I want to do 20 foot wide all the way to the truss there or as high as I can get it um, so that way we can uh, I can get equipment in here um, plan eventually insulated from wall to wall and uh, this will all be a sh kind of a shop area um, something where I put some sort of heat in here 
that is the plan for now. Um, my goal for this year, get the room down, put a door in, and that way um, I can get stuff in here. We got to do, I need a, I'm going to need a bunch of lighting and stuff. So I think we're going to hook on the baler today and just start, I got to clean it out first thing. So we're going to have to start doing that and then... Hey guys, how's it going? Um, it is now the next day. Um, we did a lot today that I need to talk about at some point. Uh, I don't know if it'll be this video. Uh, anyways, just fed uh, for the night. Everybody's out and about, running around. <laughs> Oop! He's a mean one. What? Who do you belong to? <laughs> no, I don't have any kibble. Huh? Where'd you go? Oh. You're hiding. You chew on me. Anyways, I'm sitting here playing with the the uh these are the new the newest ones here. Um, I like to get them up sometimes. Get them up, wake them up, just make sure everything's okay with them. Uh, you know, just that kind of stuff. Um, try and play with everybody. If they're tame, it's it makes some stuff easier. Easier than if they're crazy. <laughs> but... Doing a little playing helps with your mental health as well. I'm not going to start talking about that because, yeah. Anyways, we're getting a little rain right now. Uh, just a little shower, I think. But if anybody uh, doesn't like crazy goats, this brown goat was crazy, crazy. All it took, put her in this corner pen with the baby, which she didn't want at first, this one right here. And, uh, I mean, she is, she is mellow. Mellowed out quite a bit. Just by having her in the little pen and uh, coming in here almost every day, working with her a little bit. Helps quite a bit. But, um, so yeah, we're just... Just for all the goat people out here. I know I gained a couple subscribers, so whether you're in for the crops, the baling, or the goats, or the cattle, or whatever you're here for, hopefully I pleased some of you. I gotta find one. Yeah, the one on the spool. Well, just the little one there. He's pretty old. And uh, he was one of the smallest babies I've ever had. Like we were unsure if he was going to even make it kind of thing. And uh, well, he's doing good. So, so that's good. Um, I'll probably take you around update you in the shed what we've done in there. So today... Um, I don't know if I've ever showed this at all. I haven't been doing YouTube that long, but um, across the road where the steers are, there used to be a big pasture there that uh, originally was. Um, let me sit down. Originally was uh, the dry dry cow heifer lot pasture, and uh, eventually when we switched to steers, it, the steers got it. Um, well, after a couple of years and uh, uh, the steers got out here and there, uh, we decided to lock the steer, keep the steers in the yard. Um, anyways, that fence has been up uh, since we decided to do that. And uh, we're going to, 
What we did actually today is we took most of that fence out. We pulled all the posts out. Um, we rolled up a bunch of wire. We still have some wire to roll up. But uh, we took that out um, this morning. Uh, the plan is we have some, some gates that we're going to purchase. Uh, and we're going to make a, a larger area across the road for them to get out, get off the cement. Um, you know, uh, give them more area to roam, I guess, but still be um, secure, tight, that uh, they, they won't be able to get out. Uh, and we got a couple other places, uh, my cow pasture by the road, um, for my wind, where I put them in the winter, it's going to get, um, we're going to put gates up there as well, um, just, just to be be safe uh, with that. Um, yesterday I cleaned out the 2017 baler, uh, cleaned out the chamber anyways. I still got to do a bunch of work to that. Um, I was having issues with uh, the monitor actually for the baler. Um, it wasn't connecting to the baler so I'm not sure what the deal is there if I need to fix something or uh, just fix a connection or if it's a fuse I don't know something's not working right there we got to get that figured out I got goat pens to set up the pasture across the road needs work so we can run some goats over there and uh, we're gonna be working on the steer pen like I said we got a bunch of dirt to move we want to level out that pasture kinda Overall, I guess that's about all I have to say about that. Um, now I'm just kind of sitting in the, the shed shop area here. Um, if you can't tell, it is pretty clean <laughs> for the most part. Um, got my baling supplies there. Our chemical sits there. Um, so I don't know where you guys left off here but there's a big mess right in this area um hauled that out uh kind of had a little get together last night with some friends so we kind of hung out in here kind of nice to be able to kind of hang out in here at the radio playing but anyways next step uh we gotta you know kind of continue to organize this side and then start to go through them shelves again figure out what we need what we don't need what we should keep what we shouldn't keep and then figure out a new home for it so these shelves are probably I, I I'm still debating whether I just just destroy the shelves and get rid of them try and save them I don't really know at this point I guess we'll see um, as well as that shelf, I don't really know. Uh, the door is going to come, I think, somewhere in between there. Uh, whenever we get that far. But the, the room's got to come down first. So this shelf is coming off. And then uh, somehow we're going to uh, we'll re relocate this stuff. Take the room down. And uh, I think as we kind of take that down we're just going to kind of um, relocate the materials uh, to insulate insulate the rest of this uh, space um, so we kind of we're starting to move stuff around we're opening opening this place up I got parts up in the loft um, shelving over there with our, our filters or parts a um, couple you know the grease the parts, the, um, you know, just stuff that we would use. Up there I got the parts that, you know, uh, we'll use, but, you know, maybe not something that I'm going to be grabbing um, a lot. You know, whatever. But um, got a bunch of stuff to figure out. We're going to take, uh, we got a bunch of cans and stuff over there to haul in and uh, organize the seed, organize this pallet. Um, it's got feed and a mineral block on it. 
and uh, you know the tires and stuff. I think the back room is kind of a mess as well. Well, it's not too bad. Organize this stuff. I got a tire there. We got a whole bunch of all our posts there from our steer fence is laying there. We got to kind of sort what we want to keep. I don't know if we're going to find a home for the good ones in here. Um, this is all going to have to get kind of, I think it's just going to sit here for now um, until we really start moving stuff around. But um, anyways, so I cleaned the baler out, touch on this real quick once. How I actually do that, I use wheat straw to push the corn stalks out and then uh, I leave the, the chamber pressure off. I run the wheat straw through and then it comes out uh, really nicely um, compared to the corn stalks. I still got to do that baler. I, I don't think you guys can see but they're, the other the 2015 is in there. Um, got to do that one yet. I'm not sure if I need the wheat straw. I actually took the pressure off uh, when I was doing my last roll of corn stalks, so it might be pretty loose in there. Um, you know, got to get that stuff ready for hay. And then my plan is with this pile of wheat straw here. This was a this was an eight foot bale. I'm gonna pull the little baler out. We're gonna pitch it through. Um, wouldn't recommend doing that. It's not exactly the safest method. Um, you just gotta be you gotta be aware of what you're doing. Um, but I mean you can lay it out and we'll probably pull forward kind of thing um, something like that but we're gonna I'm gonna actually get a kind of an idea how many little bales are in a big bale because it's it's a big question that I get asked that I just never really know the answer to so we're gonna try and do that and just keep going we got a lot of things a lot of stuff to keep keep doing um, kind of priority right now is to get the goat stuff figured out and the baler's ready for hay. Um, I think the hay's going to come here in a hurry. Uh, just the way the weather is, we got a couple of rainy, cloudy days here, and then I guess it's supposed to be pretty decent for a couple days, so I don't know if uh, somebody's going to be cut hay down or not. Um, the hay, as far as growth, it's not exactly ready to be cut in my opinion but um, according to the calendar it's time to go so anyways um, thanks for watching I appreciate it uh, thank you to the new subscribers for uh, following the channel hope you uh, hope you continue to enjoy the content here I try and do I kind of change up the routine today's video basically I'm just talking um, but you know, other videos I try and get the more in-depth, the action shots, the, uh, you know, you know what I mean. Um, set up my little camera, cheap little camera, <laughs> and, uh, you know, show you what's, what's moving and what's working and whatnot. Um, when I get a chance to do that. Otherwise, I just talk about it. Um, so you're probably, if you're still watching... You're probably bored. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I uh, hope to see you next time.